what is going on team and welcome back to another video this is going to be another drawn liquidity video however it is going to be a bit different because i have discovered something that increased my win rate drastically and that is exactly what i'm going to be showing you in this video so let's get into it so number one what pedia rates are we holding now this is extremely important probably the most important step to figure out where price wants to go next are we holding bullish pedia race or are we holding bearish ones and if we are holding bullish ones are we violating bearish ones okay that is the most important part of finding your drawn liquidity the second thing that i will be looking at is failure swings and displacement specifically what are we displacing above and what are we displacing below and these two are basically the only two steps i use when i determine my bias or draw on liquidity so let me show you exactly what it looks like on an actual chart so last week is a perfect example of how i find my drawn liquidity uh using the two concepts that i just told you about so as you can see, we obviously swept these equal lows. This was my target for quite a while, but we consolidated, right? Friday, we finally swept these equal lows, right? Now, what did I want to see? I wanted to see if we continue to displace below or not, right? Obviously, we did not continue to displace below. The next candle opened very bullish, right? So at the same time uh, that we swept those equal lows, we are also holding this bigger time frame bullish gap, right? So we are failing to displace lower and we are holding a higher time frame bullish PDA rate, right? After that, we violated this daily volume imbalance, right? We continue to displace. That's important. So when we hold a bullish gap, fail to displace lower, I can only assume that the next swing high is going to be the next drawn liquidity, right? So we hit this right that was my first drawn liquidity when we hit this i want to see on the lower time frames how we how we react to hitting this high right i want to see if we can successfully displace above the high after we take it out now obviously you cannot wait for displacement to happen on a daily chart because each candle is one day's price action so you want to maybe jump down to a one hour chart and, and, and kind of look if we are displacing above the highs if we are displacing above the high here this is probably going to be the next strong liquidity. But this is not what increased my win rate drastically. You see, what I did wrong before was I always look for my drawn liquidity on the daily chart or the weekly chart. I'm a scalper, okay? I trade a one to five minute time frame. So the daily candles and the weekly candles really has nothing to do with my analysis. And it does not matter whether we are bearish or bullish on a daily chart. And that is what I did wrong. Let me show you exactly what I discovered that increased my win rate drastically. So since I primarily trade a one to five minute time frame those are my go-to time frames i started to look for my drawn liquidity on lower time frames okay because quite frankly if you are trading a one minute chart the daily chart has nothing to do with your analysis right and you should not be affected by what the daily chart looks like the only things i take away from a daily and weekly chart are obviously pedia race because i don't want to long right into a daily gap for example so that is what i use the higher time frame charts for but when I look for my drawn liquidity before I go into a trade, I go off of the 15 minute to one hour drawn liquidity. And that is what I use for my bias, right? So if we take a look at this 15 minute uh, chart that I have right here, we can obviously see that we sweat these lows, right? And after this candle closure, we successfully still held this higher time frame or this bigger 15 minute gap, right? We did not close below it. And what happened after this? we closed above a bearish one. So we are holding a bullish one and we are violating a bearish one. At the same time, we are failing to displace below the lows and we are successfully displacing higher, right? Now, obviously price struggled a bit here because of all these gaps, but because we were holding this bigger gap, failing to displace lower, I can only assume that this is the next drawn liquidity, okay? Now, this might not be in alignment with the daily chart, but that does not matter when I'm trading a one-minute chart. If I go to a one-minute time frame here, you will see how, how much price action or how many candles really happened here, right? 
So if I know this is the next draw on liquidity on a one minute chart, it, it does not matter what the daily chart looks like. And it does not matter what the weekly chart looks like. Okay. Something that I started to tell my students is this. If you can predict the next one hour candle closure, you have your bias. Okay. That is, of course, if you are trading a lower time frame like myself, if you're trading a one hour time frame that is obviously not going to be good enough for your bias. You want to go with a higher time frame chart. Now, right here, we have a great example of what I would do when I chart on a daily basis. So right here, I have identified a swing low. And right here, we sweep that swing low. After we sweep the liquidity resting below this swing low, we obviously fail to displace lower, followed by bullish displacement. Now, I want to pay attention to how we react to the bearish gaps. Are we respecting them or are we violating them? Now, with this 3.30 key in the closure, we obviously violated uh, this 15-minute imbalance. Actually, there's a smaller one right here that we also violated. So as soon as this candle closes, I am extremely confident that price is going to go here next. Okay. Now, this does not seem like a lot on a 15-minute time frame. But if I, for example, go to a two-minute time frame, which I often trade, I now have a bit of wiggle room, right? So ideally, these gaps should hold if this is the next draw on liquidity. So following my turtle soup strategy, I would probably look to go long off of this low, right? And then target in the high that we obviously think is the next draw on liquidity. And if I play it out very, very beautifully, right? So this was what I call a short term draw on liquidity. It does not matter what if the daily chart is bearish or if the daily chart is bullish. I am always going to go with the 15 minute draw on liquidity over the daily chart. Now, going back to a 15 minute time frame, I want to pay attention to how how price reacts after sweeping this high. Now, this candle closure obviously looks very bullish, a lot of bullish displacement. I want to give it one more candle, though. So as you can see right here, we have a lot of bullish displacement violating multiple 15 minute gap, right? Bearish gap. So ideally, this should be the next draw on liquidity. Let's see what happens. And it was right now. This right here may not seem like a lot on a 15 minute chart, but on a one minute chart, this is a lot, right? 101 ticks is a lot on a one minute chart. At least it is plenty to get off a nice trade. Right. And this is the most certain drawn liquidity you could ever get. The daily chart is one thing, but getting in on a 15 minute chart is just a lot better when you are trading lower time frame. And as you can see, eventually the external uh, liquidity, which is this swing high, got taken out and we caught or knew the drawn liquidity just because of what price did down here. Right. You would have never known that this was the next drawn liquidity just by looking at a daily chart. So obviously, when we see this, we can take trades within here until this high. Then after that, we want to pay attention to how we react after sweeping that high. As soon as we see this candle continue to displace higher, we can now assume that this is the next round liquidity. So we can look for trades within here because we know based off of a 15 minute chart, this is the next round liquidity. Then after that, we want to pay attention to how price reacts after sweeping this high, right? So obviously, we continue to get two consecutive very bullish candle closures after sweeping this high, which is exactly what I want to see. That automatically indicates a higher drawn liquidity, right? After that, I want to pay attention to how we respond to the 15 minute imbalances that we formed, right? So obviously we are holding this bottom one. So that is probably where I would look for another entry uh, on a lower time frame. So right here is a bullish breaker block. So we can go with that as our entry, use this intermediate term low on a two minute time frame as our stop, and then target that high that we found on the 15 minute chart, right? So let's play it out. Now, obviously we know that this is gonna work because we just saw it on a 15 minute chart, but I just wanna show you what it is that I mean. So as you can see, this is a whole lot of price movement, but on a 15 minute chart, it is not that far, right? So just because it does not look far on a 15 minute chart does not mean it is not enough for a trade on a one to two minute time frame. And that is exactly why I find my draw on liquidity on a 15 minute chart or a one hour chart instead of the daily chart. Now, if we go to a five minute time frame, we can see that we are obviously holding this five minute imbalance. And what happened right after that? We violated a, a five minute bearish gap right after holding a bullish one with a lot of bullish displacement, right? 
we actually violated too. Now this confirms our higher drawn liquidity. Again, what am I looking for? I'm looking for failure swings and I'm looking for what PDA rates are we holding and which ones are we violating, right? So obviously we are violating the bearish ones. We are failing to displace lower and we are successfully displacing higher, right? As you can see, we have a high here that we displaced above. The next swing high that we that we form, we displace above. The next swing high, we displace above and no swing lows are getting displaced below, right? So that is ultimately how I determine my drawn liquidity. Now, a lot of people will get burnt by finding their drawn liquidity on a four hour or daily chart when they are trading a one to two minute time frame. It just does not make any sense. Now, while it is great to look at the daily chart for imbalances or PD rays, and just for a general idea of where the market is likely going to, the shorter term drawn liquidity is always going to be the more valid one when you are trading a lower time frame. But next time you trade, try and do exactly what you do on a daily chart, but now on a 15 or one hour chart and tell me the difference, because I promise you that your trades are going to have a way higher win rate by doing this rather than finding your drawn liquidity on a daily chart. And that is ultimately what improved my trading and increased my win rate overall. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.